Hey guys, so I want to do a very quick video here on uh, two phones which I think are absolutely epic when it comes to the battery. Uh, I have been using the Moto Z Play and the uh, Lenovo P2 uh, phones uh, to get uh, you know a little bit closer. Uh, sometimes I actually do like to use the phones that I buy and see what the experience is day to day. So these are very affordable handsets from uh, Lenovo Rover, uh, Motorola, whatever you want to call them nowadays, and they come with very beautiful uh, displays and huge batteries, uh, extremely efficient processors, and I was very like interested in what sort of screen on time that I could expect from uh, both phones as well as the actual overall experience, are the cameras any good? Uh, so I can just uh, give a quick little verdict here. Now let's just uh, see here what I've got on here. You can see I don't actually have that many uh, different uh, things on here in terms of like apps. Uh, you know, I have the usual stuff like your banking, uh, your Instagram, your Snapchat, etc. Uh, so you know, quite a few different things here. Uh, but uh, but and Facebook obviously. Uh, and also emails as well uh, so you know quite a nice uh, amount of things I usually have the location on full accuracy I have uh, the auto sync on I have everything on basically everything on everything syncing Bluetooth NFC you know Android pay etc and I've been using this like uh, I think I, I think I charged this phone yesterday like in the morning and used it all day and uh, now we're in the next day, and I think I'm still on like forty uh, percent or thirty percent. Let's just have a look. So if you just look in the battery, uh, so you can see. I think I did give it a little top up earlier on, uh, but it's absolutely epic here. This this phone in terms of the battery. I mean, it's so good. I mean, every other manufacturer should aim to get this sort of phone here. I'm literally getting nine hours of screen on time, uh, which is unprecedented. And you know the actual capacity on the Moto Z Play phone isn't that big. It's only like uh, I think 3,500, same as like your you know S7 Edge, etc. But uh, they've done some amazing optimization here with this device. You can also get to, like a Moto Mod to have another battery put on there. So you know if you want to do that, that that's another option. But I think just with the stock uh, kind of thing here, it's just amazing. You know in terms of the usability. I did actually also try the uh, Lenovo P2 phone uh, in terms of the battery. And this one has a massive 5,000 uh, battery in it. And I was literally getting like three days of heavy usage out of it, uh, which uh, again is uh, absolutely incredible. Uh, so if we just go to the settings here, I'm not sure if the stats will be correct. I'm actually using Moto Z Play here at the moment. Uh, but if we just go to the power manager and uh, the power consumption uh, so let's just see yeah so i don't think i think i have had the phone off uh, recently so probably the battery stats are a bit messed up at the moment but i can assure you uh, in terms of your screen on time you're probably going to be getting like uh, you know 10 to 12 hours screen on time <laughs> which again is absolutely incredible uh, you know the only thing i would say about these two phones really the only like shame uh, about them is that the cameras aren't very good overall in terms of uh, the reliability and what else is on the market at the moment i mean they get the job done you know where uh, if, if we look at the moto uh, z play uh, you know it'll get the job done at the end of the day it's not a terrible camera but at the end of the day uh, I would expect something a little bit better uh, overall. When the the uh, like the brightness goes down, I notice that there is quite a bit of noise, similar to the original Moto X, which didn't have the best camera. I think it's using an Omnivision sensor, uh, which uh, you know usually you want a Sony sensor for the best camera. Uh, it'll get the job done, and you can get a Moto mod, which does give you a dedicated camera if you want to go there. But I like uh, you know good camera for all Motorola phones, to be honest, just to be uh, included with the handset overall uh, but the Moto Z Play uh, camera is still amazingly better than the Lenovo P2's camera which is uh, pretty atrocious really in terms of reliability uh, it's, you can get a good shot out of it if your hand is very steady but I've noticed that even the slightest uh, like shake of your hand uh, you know where if you are out and about and uh, you want to take a quick shot it will result in a blurry kind of picture uh, but then again you know it is capable of taking a decent shot like this one was taken in the night 
and as you can see it uh, detects the night mode and it's very uh, usable uh, but then again you know I'm looking for something which has a reliable camera at the end of the day uh, you can get a reliable camera for you know 200 euro in terms of Moto G4 things like that uh, so I think you could definitely improve that aspect it's alright having an amazing battery life but if the other parts of the phone don't you know, we're impressed, then it's a bit of a waste of time. Uh, the fingerprint scanners on both of them are fantastic. I would like to see probably a bigger fingerprint scanner on the Moto Z Play. And overall, I think they're both uh, an excellent, you know, handsets overall. Uh, really, I, I've been quite uh, enjoying the experience with them. Uh, I think we are due to get a new Moto Z2 Play as well. We've seen some leaks of the new Moto Z flagship uh, for 2000. 17. Hopefully what they'll do this time is that they'll make the phone with a massive battery because the, the flagship Moto Z for 2016 had a horrible battery. Uh, so that's why I got the Moto Z Play instead. So we want uh, you know, an amazing camera, amazing battery uh, and also the Moto mods all in one go. And I think Moto could definitely uh, you know, dominate in 2017 really. So uh, yeah, oh yeah, and price it well as well. Uh, you know, so it competes against the Pixel and OnePlus. Uh, I hope you found the video helpful. You know, just a bit more in-depth video here on the P2 and uh, Moto Z Play. These are battery beasts, no doubt about it. You know, top of the range in terms of battery. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.